Every day we're surrounded by them and use them. Cameras on our devices and set up for security, but not all are safe from other people. It's like having somebody spying inside your house at all times. The RCMP just charged a Quebec woman for taking control of other people's computers and spying on them. Thousands of hackers have the ability to do the same thing through websites open for the world to see, like this camera, at a local retail store in Peterborough, where they had no idea before we told them. So your store is being monitored by computer hackers. Really? From Russia? You heard about that. No, I no, saw it on TV last night. I said, okay. did, that ever look, so, did that ever look like our store? It was, and the shop owner admits there's no password to protect what he watches on his own device. If the camera was in our office area or was, as I say, could, could see the keypad of our alarm system or something, then yeah. So how is it possible for someone to access what you think is a private camera to watch and listen to what you do? The technology has actually been around for a while and it's as simple as not protecting yourself. They don't want to start remembering more passwords, so they'll just keep the defaults. And a lot of times they don't even think it's going to happen to them. Who'd want to hack my camera? But yet it's, public, it's publicized to the whole world once it's online. And still, there's sophisticated software and experts that can break through. But is it enough to convince this business to try to do more? You know, I'm hoping that all your viewers will log on and see the great shop stuff we have in our shop. I, I, have no, I have nothing to hide in that. Until someone watching has different ideas. Mark McAllister, Global News, Peterborough.